Hello, welcome to my channel. Earlier this year, I reviewed two African violet plants of the same variety, Geyser of Color by Paul Serrano of Linden Lion Greenhouses. Here is the official description of this variety. Geyser of Color, registration number 10678. Uh, it was registered with the African Violet Society of America in March of 2014. It's single pink stick tight star pur with purple fantasy and variegated medium green and beige spoon quilted foliage. And it's a standard plant. So this was the first plant that I received from its native greenhouse, Linden Lion, in my first African violet order in April of this year. And here is what it looked like when I received it. I was somewhat new to growing African violets then and I was concerned that it was so small and there was so much white color on the leaf variegation that I might uh, lose it and it might not make it. So I then went ahead and purchased another one for, from Violet Barn and this is this plant here. And it came about a month later in May. In my first video, you saw the two plants side by side, the way they looked two months ago. And I will include a link to the first video in the description box. Now in August, they have both begun to bloom and I wanted to capture it in the second part of the uh, Geyser of Color video diary. So let's compare them side by side. Or maybe let's first look at uh, each of them up close. So this is the Linden Lion plant and uh, I believe it exhibits true characteristics of the uh, this cultivar. It's indeed single pink stick tight star and it's the star uh, shape of the flower is like a five uh, pointed, um, has five points and they're all about equal uh, size, the petals, the five petals of the star-shaped flower and um, it has some purple fantasy even though it's not quite pronounced yet but I can see that it begins to show uh, the purple fantasy on younger blooms. Here we can see this one in particular shows some purple fantasy. And the variegation uh, is medium green and beige. And I actually can even see some pink. It, I really truly like the variegation on this particular plant. Isn't it spectacular? I think it's really beautiful. And the leaves are darker in color. Uh, the green color in particular, the shade of the green, it's dark. So the Violet Barn plant, let's look at that one up close. It has lighter green color, uh, the main the base color in the leaves. And it's supposed to have um, beige variegation and it does have the beige variegation, which kind of is, uh, I think, transitioning from beige into almost white variegation I would say um, and let's look at it up close so you can see that it's mainly white variegation and uh, the, the, the blooms let's find a good bloom so we can focus on well they are very very young blooms so they some of the petals have not developed fully but I really wanted to capture the first um, attempt of this plant to bloom. So you can see that they are also um, the uh, single stars. However, rather than being pink, they look somewhat like, um, I would say they look white with uh, almost like a pink colored um, pinwheel chimera. Um, stripes 
and those pink stripes do have some purple fantasy let's see if we can zoom in even more so we can see this bloom here up close I hope it does focus for us and I believe it's hard to focus but um, let's see maybe here we can yeah it does not want to focus maybe this one will show us yeah so you can see the stripes right there and they're pink with some purple variegation on this particular bloom it's I think it's easy to see it started to fade this particular bloom so I wanted to find a younger bloom but it, it's hard to zoom in so um, this is the Violet Barn variety so let's zoom out and look at them again side by side and these are both geyser, geysers of color and I can't tell you really which one I like more I think um, this one that came in so little and I was so concerned I was so afraid of losing it I think it uh, has grown up quite nicely I was uh, pleasantly surprised that it has grown into such a powerful plant this one I received a, a month later or maybe six weeks later so it might still grow as large as this one and they receive the same care and I'll talk about it in a bit um, and the blooms in this one are truly interesting to me I like uh, both of these plants and I'll keep both of them in my collection uh, even though now I have two two varieties of the same two plants of the same variety but I still want to keep them both because these I believe they almost look like chimeras and um, to those of you who are new to chimeras African violet chimeras are plants with genetic makeup constructed of parts of plant cells of two different African violet genetic makeups um, these cells grow side by side in the petals of the flower and the chimera African violet flower has different color sections due to the cells having different gene components growing side by side and so therefore they are divided into sections and we can see these stripes uh, of one variety of which is geyser of color variety the, the stripes of pink with purple fantasy but then also the main uh, body of the each petal is a uh, white or off-white in color and therefore I believe it's it is trying to almost like uh, be a chimera I'm still learning about this but I'm very interested in finding more information about it so I think this video can serve as a good example that two plants of the same African vibe variety can look different due to genetics and there are no two perfect clones of one and the same kind of African violets and perhaps the lighter blooms um, again uh, start mutating the lighter varieties is starting to sport off of the main variety of geyser of color um, but if, if so and it might try, be trying to become a chimera like sport um, it, it's, it even makes it even so more exciting so I like uh, each of these plants equally they are uh, my babies and I will keep taking good care of them and as far as uh, the type of care that they receive they grow under the combination of LED and natural light from the west facing window on a wick each of them grows on a wick um, for a week I use four ply uh, acrylic worsted yarn uh, nothing fancy in there and for the water I, I use regular tap uh, tap water that I um, have um, stand uh, open in open reservoirs to dechlorinate uh, na naturally so I um, usually leave them open for two or three days until the chlorine evaporates and I hope I'm doing it right I'm just uh, learning still and so then I add some weak uh, dose of fertilizer a balanced uh, fertilizer and um, that's the solution from which they feed themselves on a wick 
So um, this is the type of care they receive and the temperature in my growing environment is in the range of 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity is about 50 percent. So I will keep observing these two plants and I will make sure to record their second blooming cycle. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you again on the next episode of African Wild Reviews.